This is the x-ray of one of my patients used with his consent and this is not his right ventricle. It's his entire right lung that has collapsed down into this tiny little knob and his right ventricle is somewhere over here being crushed by a tension pneumothorax. Most procedurettes are about small low acuity procedures but this one is worth mentioning because all of a sudden this patient crashed and I mean within within seconds and it was really weird because the patient had had only mild chest pain for many many hours so I finally saw this x-ray and I said well I'm really busy the department is a mess why don't I call down the surgeon to put in the chest tube since I'm busy and this patient is totally stable and looks great all of a sudden he looked not great in spite of it being many hours since his symptoms began, he suddenly became hypotensive, hypoxic, and turned a very bad color and was about to die. His pneumothorax had become a tension pneumothorax. And here's what I did. Ready? I just opened a central line kit and put in the angiocath over the finder needle through the chest wall until I pulled back some air and just left the catheter in place. And he immediately decompressed and did so much better. Then I took the three-way stopcock, which is also in our cordis kits, attached that and just a large syringe on the end of it. And finally just put a section of IV tubing, which I cut short, and put it into a bottle of water to create a water seal. And then I simply started reinflating his lung, at least a little, by just pulling air out of the chest cavity with the large syringe and then turning the stopcock to push it out through the IV tubing. He had a massive air leak, so of course I wasn't going to be able to inflate the lung entirely, but that tension pneumothorax was gone. Here's his repeat x-ray. You can see that the lung has come up a little bit, and most importantly, that right heart border is back, and the mediastinum has shifted back to the right where it belongs. The angiocath is way up here, right over the second intercostal space where I placed it. And if you leave the stopcock in the correct position, if pressure builds up again inside the chest cavity, that pressure just comes right out through the water seal. The reason I like this method is it is fast. There, it's done. Of course, if you have a chest tube set up right there, that's best. But sometimes people crash quickly and you've got to act quickly with what you have at the bedside right then and there. A central line kit has a long angiocath, a three-way stopcock, most of them do anyway, and a syringe for aspirating and you know right where those kits are all the time. You can also use a LP kit. Just use the spinal needle instead of the angiocath. Uh, those also have a nice long needle and a three-way stopcock and uh, just about everything you need to save a life. Mm -hmm.